Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show how to use DAQ Navy Assistant to write a lab view program for AI or application. In this demo, we use Advantech USB 4751 device. The DO channels will connect to DI channels directly on USB 4751. First, we want to put a LED array on the front panel to show the status of the DI channels. So we create a LED array now. Right click the array and then select the property. Here we want to make it a 2D array, so type 2 in the dimension. So now it is a 2D array. Copy the DI array to create another array for the DO channel status. We also want to show error message during the data acquisition. So we put a DI error cluster on the front panel and copy it to make a DO error cluster. Okay, finally, put a start button on the front panel. We can use this button to define when the program is done. Let's move to the function block and start programming. First, we want to align the five objects we create. Right-click the function block, we can find the DAQ Navy Assistant Express VI. Put it on the function block. A pop-up window will appear. Select the digital input output function. Click the next button. It offers five scenarios. Select static DI. Click the next button. All available hardware will be displayed. Here we choose the USB 4751. We can operate the hardware directly here. And we can define which ports are used. Here we choose port 0, 1, and 2 as input channels. Now we can see all, all configurations here. Click the Finish button to start the programming. Now we want to connect the DI error cluster to the DAQ Navy Assistant to show DI error status. The DAQ Navy Assistant output is a U8 array. It cannot be connected to the DI indicator, indicator directly. So we use a for loop to convert it, to convert the U8 array to a Boolean array. Then the output from the DAQ Navy Assistant can connect to the DI indicator, indicator directly. So the DI reading read programming is done. Use DAQ Navy Assistant Express VI again to create the all write operation. Select the digital input output function again. This time 
select the static DO scenario and select USB 4751. Now we define port 3, 4, 5 as output channels. All configuration is done here. Click the finish button. It is the same that we can connect the DO error cluster to the DAQ Navy system to show if there is any error during the DO operation. The data type for DO is also a U8 array. So it is the same that we use a for loop to do the conversion. Then we can connect the DO LED array directly to the DAQ Navy system. Now we want to execute the program continuously, so we use a while loop. The program inside the while loop will be executed continuously. And when the, st uh, when the program will stop, it is controlled by the start button. So we connect the start button to the stop terminal. And we want to control the execution speed of the while loop. So we use a wait VI to control the execution speed. Here, we define the program will execute every 100 milliseconds. We can run the program now. You can see the DI status will change by the DO status. So the program is done and the operation is, is good. Through the DI and the DO array, you can see the operation. Thanks for your watching. If you have any question, please contact Adventive directory.